greetings. We're not at the Frederick Town Homestead today. We're at the Mount Hope Annual Auction Fall Horse Sale. These horses with the numbers on their rump, they'll be sold today. These are mostly Kirchner's. The boys are out here showing us their stuff. Hoping to draw a really good bid today. This is Thursday. Yesterday we didn't sell any horse flesh until late evening when they sold the halflingers. Most of the day they just sold uh, non-breathing stuff. They sold tack, harnesses, saddles, tired iron. But today we're back into the horse flesh. And some beautiful horse flesh it is. On Tuesday, a single riding horse sold for 22.3. Uh, so far, that's the highest price horse at the auction. It probably will be the highest price except for maybe Saturday. Saturday they sell uh, they sell the buggy horses. Some pretty animals out there today. That wagon there is uh, donated for the week and you can borrow that to show off your team. On Monday they were selling ponies and they had a set of waist-high ponies pulling that wagon around. That was kind of fun to see. Some familiar faces here from Fredericktown. I'm trying to take video of the horses, not the people. Englishers don't count as people. Boy, making that wagon would be a fun project, wouldn't it? It's not on Pioneer running gear like a lot of them are, but just the woodworking would be fun. I think before I make a wagon, I'll make a boat. I'm thinking maybe this winter I might build a boat in the shop. 
So stay tuned to Fredericktown Homestead. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, you may see the building of a rowboat. Isn't that a nice team? Sun's just coming up over the tent. We left at 6 o'clock. Got here at 7.14. Made pretty good time. I was asked yesterday if the harnesses go with the horses. The harnesses sold yesterday. If you wanted a harness, you had to be here yesterday. The people I brought took home four complete harnesses. Uh, that was for the horses that they had bought and are going to buy. But in general, the harness does not go with the horse unless uh, it's a special arrangement. And then the auctioneer will say, he'll, uh, he'll mention that. The light's not too good for video in this morning. In our district, you either have a black horse or maybe a red horse, but none of these, uh, I don't say none of them, but in general, we don't have colored horses. We have either reds or blacks. I know where there's a couple of colored horses in the district, but unusual. Are you noticing the different hats that men wear? Yeah. The hat pretty much tells you which group of Amish they're in. These men here have unvented, but still uh, dented top hats. 
So they've slid a little ways. Uh, a hat like that man right there has. This man, just where's my finger? I can't see my finger. This man. That's an unvented hat. Now these two men, they have uh, Schwartz and Trooper hats. And uh, as you look across the audience here, you can see uh, the different hats. These vented hats, like the one in the colored shirt has, they, these both have vented hats. Now that means that they've slidden and, or are sliding and uh, they're sl sliding down the slippery slope towards hell. Uh, that's just, just the way it is. Vented hats are for the more liberal Amish. Come on, you two, you're on display here. Those men, you can tell right there, they're old order. Now this man in the white carriage, he has a fully vented hat. That means to me that his parents were Amish. He doesn't observe a lot of the rules and regulations. There's a buyer driving the horses. He just took them for one spin, see how they drive. That's one thing you can do here is another driver, another buyer gets in and asks them about the history of the animals, their genealogy, and then uh, takes a turn at the reins. Perch on horses. We have a different team now hooked up to the wagon. These are fully slid Amish. Store-bought pants, vented hat, store-bought shirt. Good day for an auction. Sun's coming up. Time to go in and get my seat in the ring. Get a cup of coffee and sit there and enjoy it. I might have a plate of biscuits and gravy before I go in. Look at the size of these plates here. Look at those feet. Okay, something. Oh, he's got extra plates on there, I see. He's walking on snowshoes. I'm not sure what that's all about, but he's got an extra set of shoes underneath.
right. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Somebody likes horses, maybe. All right. God bless.